Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. Today is part two of a mini series I've created here for Demystifying Microsoft's Partner Program. Before I get into it though, I just wanted to mention if you do want to see a lot of content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space, be sure to subscribe. As I mentioned though, this is a mini series, so if you haven't seen the first video for the high levels of the actual program itself, be sure to check that out. Today I'm going to be going over the registration for getting into all of the incentives within Partner Center. Not going to really be covering a lot of slides here, just going to be popping right into a demo Partner Center just to show you all these things live within that demo environment. So I'm here within a Partner Center and again, just to be clear, the prerequisites of getting to this stage is that you've enrolled in the CSP program as an indirect reseller you are approved in that particular status and you have an active location MPN ID. Those are all things that you can view underneath the gear icon here under account settings and your legal profile and your Azure AD profile as well. But getting to it here, I'm assuming you've already made it past those steps and now we just have a few more things that you'll need to be aware of in order to get into the incentives and actually get paid from Microsoft on a monthly basis. So in order to get paid, you do have to be part of one of the silver or gold competencies. So you have to be uh, having a membership of one of those. And so in order to do so, you'll notice if you go under the particular MPN section in competencies, you'll have some of these competencies and I showcased this briefly just a while back, but this shows you that we've had the silver requirements met for small to mid market cloud solutions. The gold requirements are still in progress, but we haven't achieved this yet because we haven't purchased that membership. So these are all things that you have to have as prerequisites to get paid. You have to have one of these in a complete status and you can see which ones those are underneath here if you expand. And you also have to have paid for and purchased a membership under one of the competency plans. Again, in the next video, I'll be showcasing you what you need to have to better understand if purchasing this actually makes sense for you because you could still receive rebates, but it may not break even or you may actually lose money from the actual subscription of the silver or gold, gold membership offers. So clicking into membership offers here actually shows you the three membership offers as an action pack, silver and gold. And here it's saying, hey, you're eligible for this. You can go ahead and subscribe and I'll pay this. This is a one time annual fee that'll be up for renewal after the one year is over. But it does allow me to obtain that competency that you saw on the previous page there. So again, nothing is actually fully achieved till I go ahead and do this. And until I do this and get that competency, I'm not going to be fully eligible for those particular rebates that might come as part of the association. The second piece here is the incentives tab over here on the left. This tab, if you click on it here, you can actually see your earnings and you can see programs that you've been invited to enroll in to actually start to receive those incentives you know, of what you've actually gone in and enrolled for. So in this particular case, I have this list here and I have some action required for something I've actually enrolled in in the past. So in this particular case, you are only seeing the eligibility of programs that are listed here that Microsoft has sent you. And in this case, I have not yet purchased a membership for silver or gold. So I'm not seeing the additional enrollment programs that are part of those offerings as well which in my opinion, you'd be more attractive to or more attracted to as an MSP, simply because a lot of these that you see here are geared more towards enterprise in my opinion, and not necessarily something that you might be able to achieve. In your particular customer environments, I've read through all of these and they're a little bit harder to obtain than some of the ones you get in the enrollment plans with Microsoft, in the sense of the silver or gold membership offerings and those programs that come part of that. So just be aware of that um, so that you can start to get those things. The other big piece here is that you may not be able to see this tab within your own environment or if you do see it, you're not able to access it. So in this particular case, you do have to be a 
person or member within the Active Directory environment that is an incentive administrator or an incentive reader, I believe the term is. So if you go under user management here, You'll be able to search for someone that you want to give access to this tab for. And in this case, I'm just going to look at myself. The big piece here is that under this checkbox for your account, you don't have to be a global admin or anything in the account, but you have to have this, which says manages your organization's incentives or one of locations. And you can be an admin, a user, a read-only user, not an incentive user. And by default, most people aren't going to be here um, viewing this information and not have access. So you'll need to designate somebody to be the incentive admin in order to see and access this tab. It's good to know. Back into the overview section, though. The final piece here that you need to be aware of and do is update your payment and tax information. So you have to have bank account information and you have to put your tax profile in here as well in order to be able to get the payments from Microsoft. So they have certain things here and you can say like in this column I have this is complete for my, my tax profile for Azure incentives but for this other program that I've enrolled in um, I have that done as well but I haven't done my payment profile so I haven't added any of the, the payment selections here and created that so I can submit that and Microsoft can actually pay me um, in this portal as well too so those are the big things that you got to be aware of when you think about registering for incentives and again just to recap it is being enrolled in the CSP program Secondly, is achieving a competency in having membership to silver or gold. Third, is being at least a incentive user or administrator in the account in order to be able to set up this final piece, which is being able to configure your tax profile and payment profile configuration. With all of that in place, you will then be able to start getting paid from Microsoft in the rebates if you've achieved one of those competencies. That's everything I want to showcase in this video. The next video is kind of tying everything together with fiscal year 2021 incentives. So basically showing you the breakdown of if you think this makes sense from a financial perspective to buy one of these memberships and what the expected rate of return will be on a monthly basis. And also just getting into some of the uniqueness of it, like when you will actually be paid the minimums, how co-op fund separation works, all that will be in the next video. So I appreciate you guys' time. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.